Genesis chapter 18, verse 11. Now Abraham and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of woman. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, Am I wax old? Shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also? And the Lord said to Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh? Saying, I shall surely bear a child which am old. And one more place. Second Kings 20, verse 3. And I beseech thee, Lord, remember now how I walked before thee in true, with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. And it came to pass, before Isaiah was going out of the middle court, that the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Turn again and tell Hezekiah, the captain of my people. Thus saith the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. It's remarkable because in the book of Psalms, in two places talking about idols and images, it says they have ears and they hear not. I have a God that hears. He hears my prayers. And the answer to God's prayer is yes, we want that one. No. And then wait. And the fact is that, that Sarah, Sarah overheard God speaking about her being an aged woman beyond the time of women. She's going to have a baby. She's like, yeah, right. And God turned to her husband and said, why did she laugh? Hezekiah is told, set thy, thy house in order. You're going to die. And he lies towards the wall and he's talking to God, praying. And, and, and God stops the prophet Isaiah from walking out of the building and says, hey, go back and tell them. I heard your prayer. And I've come out of the Roman Catholic Church. I went to the Roman Catholic Church before I was saved in 1987 of April. And I prayed prayers and the Pope or Mary did not hear my prayers. But God hears my prayers. And there are many times as I've said, there are times I, I, in the middle of the night, I'll wake up or I can't sleep and I'll speak to the Lord and he hears me. And there are times during the day I speak to the Lord and he hears me. And I'm not going to say every single time I get that answer right then and there like Hezekiah. There are times, you know, I, I wonder, and you find it in the song, God, are you listening? God, did you hear? And the answer is the God of Israel and the God of the Bible is yes, he hears. <clears throat> There's another place in the Bible of Daniel and, and the angel says he, he, was, he was relapsed for a period of time before he could answer Daniel's prayer. And we can rest assured and it may take time for whatever reason. God hears our prayers. And listen, I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida. And there's a, a saint in California and a saint in Maine and a saint in Alaska and a saint in Mexico and uh, uh, Oklahoma and China and Japan and Asia and Africa. There are saints all over the world praying and then we may be praying at the same time and yet God hears our prayers the prophets of Baal cry out and they, they are lashing themselves in their skin and their God never answers Baal has not even answered those prophets today and yet God answered Elijah and, you know, we want, when we speak to God, we want we want that fire to come down from heaven and light the, the altar. We want, before the prophet leaves the room, we want him to turn it back and say, I heard your prayer. 
And we may be in the back room. We want God to, to speak to, to our spouse and say, hey, I heard that. That may not be always the, be the case. But we have a God that can hear our prayers with his ears. And we even have something even more special as a born again Christians that are that are saved through the blood of Jesus Christ alone. We have the Holy Spirit praying for us. We have Jesus Christ, our advocate, our savior, our groom is praying to the Father for us. Listen, there are saints all over the world making many petitions before God. And of the petitions of us is the petition of the Holy Spirit. And is the prayers of our Savior of Jesus Christ and God is able to decipher and get it all straight. I am not going to get somebody else's prayer request and nobody else is going to get my prayer request. And you talk about, oh, I'm applying for work and I'm looking for jobs around. And some of the questions are, can you multitask? Uh, can you imagine the multitasking with God? He's got to feed the whales over here, tend the funeral of a, of a sparrow over here. He's, he's got to attend to a saint that's in a hospital over here. And he's got to protect the saint from a motor vehicle, motor vehicle accident over here. And he's got to hear a saint over here praying for their dying job. He's got to pray for a saint over here who needs food. And you got to pray for a saint over here because the government's coming in to take them. And you got a saint over here that... Man, all the activities of the world. Both Christians and non-Christians and animals in all the realm of the world. We have a God that can hear our prayers and he's not always going to answer them, boom, right then and there. And he's not always going to answer them, yes. But think about a moment. <clears throat> and... All our prayers shouldn't be, give me, give me, give me, give me. It should be, thank you, Lord. Pray without ceasing, we did the other day. Uh, no, uh, rejoice evermore, we did the other day. Maybe we'll do pray without ceasing. But we ought to thank God, too. But let's stretch out a realm of our prayers and think. The next time, whatever you're praying, you're thanking God, you're asking God. Whatever you're praying, whatever you're thanking God, just think for a moment. I have the God that has ears to hear. And if I read and study my Bible correctly, there are idols and, and images and aids to worship of religions. And the Bible records twice they have ears and they hear not. And of the nation of Israel, of the Old Testament, of the prophets, and in the time of Jesus Christ, it is said by the prophet Isaiah and, and Jesus quoting Isaiah, they have ears and they hear not. And all people have been accused of selective hearing. Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. And yet God listens. God never. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that, and, he, and and his mind is somewhere else. And God even hears the prayers of those that are not His children, the children of the devil, and that's found in the Bible. And I believe God will drop what He's doing when a when a lost man will come to pray. And ask Christ to save his soul. Sarah laughed. <laughs> God said, I heard that. Hezekiah is in tears in mourning the news. And he turns through the wall. God said, I heard that. Elijah, the fire comes down. God said, I heard that. We have the God. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Israel, the God of the Bible, God Almighty, Jesus Christ. 
and he hears our prayers.